Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel called My Project Ideas. In this particular video, we will be looking at a game that we will create using Java, and the name of this game will be a guess game. As, as simple as it sounds, this game is nothing but just a simple number guessing game where the computer will give you several tries and you will have to guess a number that the computer has thought about before. If you are, if you are correct, the computer will say that, yes, you have guessed it correctly. And if you are not correct, then the computer will give you several tries and it will also give you hints. For example, the hints that we will be using in this code is if you enter a number and if the number, yeah, and if the number that you had entered is more or less than the number that the computer has guessed, it will, it will tell you that the number is more or the number is less. So you, so you can guess accordingly and come closer to the actual number with every guess. Let's see how we can use this. Uh, so let's see how we can code this thing. Here we will, we will import this, the scanner class because we will want to take inputs from the user for every guess. We have our main class here called guess game and we have our function called guessing number game. Here we'll initially just create an object of the scanner class because we want to, uh, as I said, input numbers from the user. Here we will generate a random number from one to hundred, so that can be any number. And we will do this by using this math.random function. This random function will generate any random number. And here is the number of tries that we will give the user. So here I have set it to five tries. So we will be giving the user five tries within which the user has to guess positively. Here we, here we just have two flag variables called i, i, and guess. So the first display message that we will give to the users is a number is chosen between one to 100, guess the number within five tries. So this is kind of like the rules of the game. Then we move on to our for loop here. So this, as you can see, this entire code is almost inside the for, inside the for loop. So this for loop will run for five times because we have given the user five tries. So that is why you see uh, it runs for i less than k, where i is the loop control variable. Uh, as our print statement, we'll, we'll print out guess the number first, and then we'll take an input from the user. Depending upon what the user guesses, if the user guesses correctly the number, then we'll display, congratulations, you guessed the number. If the user guesses more uh, less than the number, then we will say that the number is greater than your guess, so you should guess a greater number next time. If the user guesses a number that is less, that is more than the number, then we will say that the number you need to guess is lower, so you should try a lesser number the next time in your next try. Now, for example, if if the number of tries of the user has met the loop control variable, so the user could not guess correctly what the number was within the fixed number of guesses, we will just display this message called you have exhausted uh, k number of tries, k here will be n number of tries, and we will have to print out the number because we want to tell the user what the number was and we will print out the number plus the number. This is our main, uh, main method here. So we will simply be calling the function guessing number key. Okay, let me compile this code and let's see if we can play this game and win it because it's quite complicated actually. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so it says a number chosen one to 100 within five trials. Okay, guess the number. So I'll just randomly input 50. The number is less than 50. Okay, so maybe I can try 30. Yeah. It takes some time to load actually. Yeah. The number is less than 30. It's less than 30 even, so something around 20. Let's see. The number is even less than 30, 20, so we've already used like three chances, basically. So I use 10 here. The number is greater than 10, so it's greater than 10, but less than 20. So my, it's probably, yeah, this is my final guess. I'll put it 15 here. Yeah, okay, so I was really close, but the number was actually 16. So I've, I've exhausted all of my trials, basically. Hope you liked this video of this number guessing game. And if you want more such videos, make sure to keep an eye on our channel and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching.